Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, I wanted to answer a question which I received from a student on my Figma course, which is uh, how to manage Figma files at scale. Now, I'm going to lay out a basic blueprint which is going to be scalable in case you're working with enterprise clients and also applicable for smaller clients such as startups or moms and pops shops. So the basic foundation element that you want to consider is first of all establishing how large the project is going to be because when it comes to Figma file management there's a lot of variables that come into play especially when you're expanding and working with enterprise clients and diverse teams may be relocated in different areas with different time zones so i just want to focus on the basics and then you can kind of utilize this blueprint and framework based on your specific needs and tailor it to your goals so first of all, uh, one of the things that uh, I'd like to identify is uh, the design system and then uh, the main files. Now realistically, over here we have uh, two separate files uh, for the design systems and I'm going to go into the depth of this in just a moment uh, and for the main files. But uh, if you're working say with a startup uh, or a small client that just needs a landing page and you're 100% sure that that's probably going to be it. Maybe a couple more pages down the line, but it's not really going to be a project with a very large scope. You can keep everything in one single Figma file and perhaps have one page dedicated to a design system containing all of the basic elements such as typography, color styles, iconography, those type of uh, elements and then uh, another page or multiple pages of course uh, with uh, the actual project. This is going to help you to be very agile and uh, maximize the amount of uh, flexibility and uh, practicality really when it comes to working on your Figma file. So that is going to be the first scenario. But uh, what uh, if uh, you are working with a client that has uh, a larger scope and a longer term vision? Maybe they need to create a website, a web app, uh, marketing uh, materials and more projects and uh, experimentations along the line. Now that is where having a solid structure is going to help you solve a lot of potential future pain points. Now the structure that I usually like to have is to have a design system file which is separated from the main file and the reason for this is simple. You want to keep everything design system related in a clean format which isn't uh, coinciding with uh, the main files. It has multiple benefits uh, apart from uh, the one that I just listed but I'm just going to keep things uh, simple and uh, straightforward for now. So the design system file can be a single file but uh, what I like to do with uh, larger clients and this is for example what we're doing at Barrow is we have a foundation file which uh, is uh, the file where we have uh, all of the foundational elements of the design system such as the color styles, the text styles, uh, the iconography, rules around spacing uh, and things of that nature and then we have a separate uh, file which is dedicated just uh, to the components. And the reason why we did this differentiation is because uh, Mainly we're at a point where we have uh, so many components uh, that uh, having both uh, in one single file would uh, make it uh, quite heavy. But apart from that, it's also good to have a focus point just on the foundational elements uh, and uh, another one which is just focused on uh, the actual components. Now these uh, talk to each other of course, they, they are deeply and strictly related to each other. It's just that for the sake of practicality it's uh, easier to keep uh, both uh, separated. 
And then of course, after you have the design system, you're going to connect it uh, within uh, the main uh, website file, web app file, marketing material file. And uh, this of course I'm simplifying because uh, especially when you're working on enterprise projects, uh, you're going to have so many different projects uh, and uh, an archive uh, history of uh, many different uh, type of projects. So this uh, is uh, a simplification of uh, what can be in reality multiple files so you can either see this uh, as a single file if uh, that uh, is uh, in line with uh, what uh, your current goals and needs are or it can be a folder which contains uh, then multiple files and then you can have uh, folders of uh, all sorts really you can have uh, uh, folders for experimentations, for brainstorming sessions uh, and uh, whatnot. But that, of course, is going to really depend uh, based on uh, the company that you're working with uh, and uh, your specific needs. So to wrap it up, uh, I want to basically uh, invite you to think about uh, what uh, are your current needs uh, from a high level and uh, especially try and think about uh, and uh, talk with your team about uh, what is going to be the needs uh, moving forward. So what is the vision of the company? Do they want to keep uh, just one designer or maybe like two or three designers? Uh, or are they looking to expand uh, to a dozen designers in the future? Because that is going to be extremely important uh, in order to future proof uh, your solution when it comes to file management and uh, i can tell you this uh, is going to be initially what i believe it's a small effort because realistically it's uh, not going to be like a major um, change especially if you're just starting out uh, with uh, the figma structure for your team but it's going to save a lot of time and potential headaches because if uh, the entire workflow has been uh, created in a way that uh, uh, facilitates uh, just one single individual, but it's not optimized for a team environment, then you're going to have to do a lot of work uh, moving forward, which is definitely not the place where you want to be. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you need the help uh, with uh, brainstorming your Figma file management, feel free to shoot me an email and uh, I'll try and uh, see if uh, <laughs> I can help you. But uh, apart from that, uh, if you want to learn more about uh, UI UX design and the web design, feel free to check out uh, the other videos on my channel, which are entirely for free. And I'll see you in the very next video.